love music, so this guy made good music. If it's true, rest in peace, Young Dolph. Huh? Yeah, rest in peace, Young Dolph, man. Good gunshot. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace, Young Dolph. Put out some good music. But anyway. Oh. What a week, what a week, what a week. Bird Pops. Last Thursday, y'all. After I recorded the podcast the next day. Bird Pops and whatnot. Good ceremony, man. But the following day, you know, I, I really was grieving. Um, <laughs> depression really set in. The pressure of it all really set in. And, man, I had no desire to do anything. Uh, I think I was going to the gym. But for the most part, I was chilling. I want to let you know, man, love your people, man, because, you know, time is... Time ain't available to us all for a long time. But uh, this is going to be a good episode. I, I might hurt some feelings in the process, but I think what I'm going to say on this podcast episode today, episode 9, um, it needs to be said, man. Because these are things that are important to me. I don't fake it. I don't be a, I'm not a pretender. Uh, I like to be transparent and I like to be honest. Some people, you know, they need to hear a rocking that new MTMJ Fit Podcast hoodie, right? It's hogging, you know, from side to side. Hey! <laughs> but uh, the link to the podcast merch store is in the description of the YouTube, so make sure you go and subscribe. Um, so look. Saturday, right? I be having the moments, man. I talked about this on the podcast before where I be feeling like doing yard work. So Saturday of last week was one of those things. Drop my wife off at work. Hit up Home Depot, get a few things, you know, get some lawn bags and whatnot. And then, you know, come back, wash my car, which didn't happen. But cleaning up all them leaves in the front of the house. <laughs> that was a task, right? It took three bags, three hours, all by myself. Hey, look, I told my son that he was going to get out there with me and assist me with cleaning them leaves up. Never happened. The boy never came. I never saw him. He never showed up for your boy. He left me out there. Made me want to punch him in the face. It's like, no. <laughs> But I knew he wasn't going to get out there with me. But still, it was a fun experience, man. My only thing was, I'm raking and I'm using the leaf blower, right? And the more I'm blowing, it just seemed like it's taking forever to get these leaves into a pile. Then I finally figured out that I kind of was doing it wrong. You kind of got to do it in a line and push it forward. So that was my Saturday, man. We did some long work. Um... My Monday, we went to the cemetery to check on, check on Pops and Grams. I was a little disappointed in what I saw. Um, I guess folks say that's how I should be, you know, because you got to wait for this, you got to wait for that. I understand waiting for the ground to settle, but I don't understand downright be, being disrespectful, like disrespecting their their space right just throwing the flowers over top of the grave any type of way not removing the stand that the flower decoration was on man that's crazy lucky i ain't really got no voice and i couldn't go up to the head and say man what what the you know what i mean but ugh, yeah i was disappointed by that i had to come back and tell my wife and be like man i couldn't believe that i thought that was crap Right, but you know, as always, you gotta start the podcast off with some vibes. You feel me? Because without the vibes, you gotta set the mood for the podcast, man. That's how. That's how I get grooving. I don't know about you. That's how I start my day. Right. Music is good for the soul. 
Let's go. My son loved this song. Welcome to another episode of MTMJ Fit Podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment, like, and share the podcast. I appreciate your support. All right. On this episode, we're going to talk about a little bit of everything, y'all. A lot happened over the last week. Some dumb stuff, some positive stuff, but a lot happened. So, make sure you rate and review on Apple Podcasts. Make sure you follow the podcast on all your available podcasting streaming services, man. Wherever you listen to your podcasts, make sure you follow the podcast and share it with a friend. Look, make sure you get your merch. Get your merch. So this week, man, look, I'm chilling and minding my business because that's what I do. I mind my business, right? I get a phone call talking about somebody came riding down and breaking a side mirror. Like, woo. That's crazy, right? So I'm trying to figure out, like, <laughs> to be honest, what does this have to do with me, right? So I get the gist of it. I didn't understand. Okay. We know the person, right? Person starts kind of just telling me what's going on. So while I'm listening, I'm like, you know, it's only a few people that I associate with that can be this immature. And, you know, so comes back that they ran the tag number and the tag number is associated with another person. And I know, man, like, you know, because like when you when you associate yourself with people, right, you it's easy to recognize a, a high character person and it's easy to recognize, you know, a person that may not have the highest standards as far as it relates to being responsible. So, like, I, I, I guess I don't associate empathy and high character guys with your upbringing but I, I also think like when you have strong men in your life right growing up you particularly possess a certain amount of dignity for yourself that you won't allow yourself to be put in weird situations so the way this story unfolded right was wow cause I'm looking at it like Nah, so the person say this person did it. This person, these two have history. I mean, it's not positive. It hasn't been positive of late. The thing I hate with men, right, and uh, is when things ain't going right, you get to start degrading people, like calling women hoes and bitches, and saying you gonna shoot this and you gonna shoot that. Like, screw all that, dog. Like. That's why, like, I stay in, I stay in the house, and I, you know, I, I mind minds, man, because like, you start growing up, man, you start seeing changes, man. I just don't want to associate myself around people that don't uplift me or bring positivity to my life. So, I call this person, and I'm like, bro, did you do X, Y, and Z? This nigga lies to me, right? For me. Like you, you my man, right? I'm not, and I don't. I'm. And needless to say, in this situation, I'm friends with both parties. But the one thing I hate is for somebody I call a friend to lie to me, right? Because I'm a thinking of like this dude. At the end of the day, I'm gonna let you know this off the off the break. If you see it, I'm here to defend you, bro. Like I want to make sure like you don't jam yourself up. I want to make sure. Like, my friends don't end up in a situation where, like, they putting themselves in harm's way. 
Because like growing up, you know, I saw I saw a lot of things where a lot of people didn't particularly want to do certain things, but they did it just to go along to get along. I've never been that guy, right? I've always found my niche and did things the way I wanted to do it. And I did it that way because I ever I never wanted to be put in a situation where I'm a follower, right? But in this situation, right, I'm I'm thinking like when when this person explained to me what happened and how, you know, neighbors got the tag number and X, Y, and Z and all this and all that, I started thinking to myself, okay, only person I know would do that is X, right? So Y was like, man, yeah, I'm I'm X, Y, and Z. You know, I need the payment. I need this to be paid for. And I'm sitting there thinking like. Like how do how how you think you gonna get that, right? Cause like y'all two ain't on good terms, right? And you think like when people friends or whatnot, like they'll find a way regardless of the situation. But I think sometimes, man, like you get so far up your ass, man, that you forget where you came from. So like when I hear people start saying like struggle, like a lot of niggas don't really know what struggle really is, man. How about this, like man? Sleeping on the floor in an apartment because your apartment burned down and you ain't got nothing to lay on. Or how about this? Like, you ain't got no clothes, dog. So you got to go to the Goodwill and ask for some clothes to wear. Or how about this, man? You get put out your house, man, and you ain't got no food to eat, so you got to scrap through a pantry box to try to freaking eat. Like, half of these dudes ain't never been through that, man. So they don't really understand what it is and feel like to go through that. So when I hear people say, like, X, y, man, look, these things that happened in my life humbled me to understand I don't never want to be like that again. So, I'm while I'm listening to the situation, when he lied, kind of threw me off, bro. I ain't about to hold you because I knew the writing was on a wall. So, so when the tag name came back to the person, I said, man, I'm going to tell you what, just reach out to that person and I'm, I promise that this person is going to be just as transparent because like he a good dude right folks don't understand there ain't too many good dudes we like me and him we haven't talked in a while and i think to a certain degree sometimes um you know we we grow up in life and we have like this expectation that people just gonna necessarily uh open their hand to you or open up their door but he did open up his door to me and it, was, it has always been like I just hate that we've been so distant right but I'm gonna tell you this as a friend man we supposed to like we we supposed to depend on one another we supposed to hold each other accountable right so certain things like I just can't tolerate you know why I can't tolerate it cuz I'm a I'm a freaking father right I got a daughter right so when I hear another man talking reckless towards a child, not only are you talking reckless towards a, a, a another person, like this person got a child, like like Slim, think think about that for a second. And I also got to like I'm talking to Y and Z, like at the end of the day, man, you got to put your egos to the side, dog, because like you don't know what it feels like to lose nothing, right? Privilege is real. If you ain't never been through the struggles, you don't have a freaking clue what it feels like to go through certain stuff. What what it feels like to go through loss. What it feels like to, to watch your child go through pain and ain't nothing you can do. Like these are the things that I experience. But I've also say when I hear somebody say I'm ten toes down or like I'm the realist or I got my boy back. But actions ain't the same, dog. Don't lie to me. Like me though. Like I'm I'm talking to my wife about that. And that really bothered me, man. Because like this is me, right? I ain't for the BS. Like I seen what it feels like to be on the opposite side of the spectrum, right? And like it's just crazy to me, but man. I swear it is. But let let's let's get this move back, man. Let's get this move back. Too soon? <laughs> Too soon? Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> I know Travis Scott has been going through some situations, man, but, you know, I believe, man, like, 
God got him. He gonna be okay. So the song I'm playing right now might piss somebody off, but too soon. <sighs> hey, YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the podcast, man. Make sure you comment and share, man, if you've been through a situation where, like, as you grow, you, you outgrow certain situations. Tell me how that looks, man. Comment below, man. Tell me your experiences with that. But then, like, as it goes on, you know, why hits me back and was like, I had a conversation with X, Y, and Z. I, you know, I already had my suspicions, but it was like, man, yeah. Um, yeah, that ride for a while and whatnot. And I think when things don't go our way, our first result is to, like, go into defense mode whether like you think you need to harm someone or you want to fight or you want to you know you want to kind of like do this and do that but like i look at it like this like wrong is wrong like something that happened weeks ago i'm not gonna wait two or three weeks later to retaliate you know how many lumps i take on the chin on a regular whether it's in my work, whether it's at home, whether it's with my kids, whether it's with family members. You know, you just got to, like, take them and brush it off, man, and move on. Because I think when you start talking that, that talk and getting all reckless, like, it went, it, bro, it went entirely too far. And, like, <laughs> folks don't even be understanding. Like, I think in this situation... You probably kind of should have took your losses, man, and kind of moved on. Because then you start talking that street talk. And a lot of people that say they street ain't really street. I'm not street. You know, I, I've dabbled in the streets. I vacations in the streets a little bit. But I'm not, I don't live in the streets, right? And when you get into this business life, right, where you're trying to hustle, you got to learn to separate business and street. Because if you try to bring street into business, it's it's gonna be a cold fall summer for you. You're gonna be right back in that 30 37 degree weather with nowhere to go. I know what that feels like, man. I've I've been in a situation where maybe me and things wasn't working out with my grams as I was becoming a teenager, right? And I was growing up. And she kicked me out. Right? I didn't have nowhere to go. You know, I didn't have nobody to depend on in that moment. It was just me. I had to sleep on the porch, right? But in that moment, while I was pissed at her, it taught me something about the importance of just being able to survive and live your life. Hey, I appreciate you for watching, man, just supporting this podcast, man. The reason I do, man, because I look at it like this. When I started the podcast, man, I got into a situation where I wasn't necessarily sure the direction I wanted the podcast. I wanted it to be fitness related because, man, I sat back and I thought that's what people wanted to hear, you know? But then I'm starting to think like, while I am a personal trainer, man, I do things to kind of. Re I want to be. I'm a relatable person, right? So I can. I can. I can apply fitness into just talking about regular life stuff. And of course, I like music, man. I love music, so that's why I want you to subscribe on YouTube, rate and review on Apple Podcasts, man. Look, wherever you get this podcast, please share it with a family, friend, family member, man. 
Let's get this podcast going. Make sure you subscribe, man. I ain't no hater. But like I was saying in that last topic, man, I just don't like when people lie. I don't like when people front. Like, we can talk face to face, man. Like, hit me up. Don't lie to me, though. Because one thing I don't do is I don't have one conversation with one person and go back and have a different conversation with another person and include both conversations together. Whatever conversation I have with you, I, I have a different conversation with, with the other person. But don't make me... Uh, so uncomfortable where I can't just not talk to you, especially when I'm your friend. So, like, man, I don't like being put in a situation where I gotta be like playing tug of war with my friends. Especially in a situation with friends that I grew up with. Like, I ain't got time for that, man. It's people fighting for their lives, right? But, like, you can't, you can't really defend, like, stupidity. Like, 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 we gotta use common sense, right? Like, like, folks do, like, seriously, man, like... When you start hearing people saying they, that he's smart and they're intelligent, and then you start then adding all the things that they didn't necessarily necessarily use that smartness and that intelligence. Like, that's crazy. Like, my thing was, like, what was you going to get out of breaking, breaking home's mirror? What, that, what was that going to bring? Like, you sit in a sign... Like, like you a gang member or some shit? Like, no. Like, you're not going to get nothing out of it. All you're going to do is further piss yourself off. Or jam yourself up. Or jam someone else up. That's why I say, like, people are friends with you only when it's convenient. And that's the real, man, that's some real truth. Like, I look at it like this, right? I started this podcast, right? And I don't like venting about not getting support from my friends, Right? And I remember saying this to one friend. They wanted to give me this big lecture. Did you necessarily say something to him? And why do you feel like you need to get support from your friends? And I'm like, at the time I was thinking about it, I'm like, okay. But now you think about it now, like, when we friends, like, it shouldn't be about I need to ask you. If you see your guy doing something, you know, you support him. Because what you about to do is you're going to go support the 100 white men who's out here making Nike, Gucci, Prada, Dior, anything. Would you, you know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, your man, he putting out, I'm a, man, I'm being real today. Your man putting out repping time. Y'all act like y'all don't even see that shit. But y'all go to the museum. Your boy start a podcast. You're not really supporting it, right? Hey, look. My thing is, like, if you share once, we all got, like, you got to think, like, we all got followers, right? Our followers go go out throughout the city. I'm just real real. I got my followers, you got your followers, you got your followers. If I got 10 friends who have 1,000 followers apiece, that is, you feel me? That's 10,000 followers, Right? So, like, if you look at that 10,000 people, right, and that one person, I, and I reached that one person out of 10,000 and he shared, do you not understand how I can be helping my city or how I can be getting the support to, like, change other people's lives? This is a lot of people, man. I see it, like, they've been preaching the same message for the last 10 years without no change. Right, I think when I start things like I'm all about growing, I'm all about elevating, I'm also all about empowering. And sometimes, like I had to tell my man this week, man, don't just hit me for money. Hit me because you genuinely care about me. You know why? Because I genuinely care about you. Like, when I hear you say I'm going through, I'm broke, or I'm got a lot going on in my, my, my life, or this or that. Like, dude, like... We got some of the same issues, bro. I'm a consensually. But see, my thing is, I can't help 
who I am, right? I sit back sometimes and I'll be like, man, why do I always go over the top to like reach out to people and they don't do the same to me, right? I remember I reached out to one of my friends last year, right, just to make sure he was good. I haven't heard from him again. That was a year later, dog. That's crazy to me, dog. Like, I get we outgrow each other, but I feel like, man, like, I cross paths with all these gentlemen on a regular basis, whether it's through social, whether it's just driving by. I am the realest nigga. I swear to God. I just care about my family. So I don't ever want to jam my family up or put myself in a situation. But at the end of the day, I'm a hard-working man, right? I don't got time for the play-play. But I, see, I feel like, you know, sometimes, man, I hate that my grands bless me with the, the just the, the caring, man. But then I got to stop doing that and I think back to what my past to say, man, sometimes people need love and you don't even need to have to have an expectation to get it back. And that, and that sucks, man. But that's why I'm always going to be a star, man, a pop star, man. Because I ain't, you know, I, <laughs> I can't help who I am, right? It may be boring, it may be not the most popular, it may not have the biggest following, but I'm going to tell you something. I am real. I know you see, they're not cursing. I found some clean music. Hey! A legendary one. I think we about to go live on Facebook, y'all. Let's see. Your people behind the scenes view. I'm uh, rocking. YouTube. Let's see what we can get on here. Oh. Hey, we pardon right now, y'all. We pardon right now. Get your shirt, man. Subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to YouTube. Make sure you like, share, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend to follow the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. This is MTMJ Fit Podcast.